Alright, this is Ralph, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can build your own uh, oil warmer uh, and do it cheap. Just use it out of materials that you probably have lying around the house, and this is a, a little uh, oil warming or re resin incense warming system that you can build extremely cheaply. What I am using here is, you can see I spared no expense, a little Always Save Instant Coffee uh, bottle, and I filled that bottle with dirt out of our garden. And then what I'm going to do, this is the uh, candle that we're going to use, and after you have your bottle full of dirt, just put your candle right in the center there, try to get it level, and that creates the bottom part of your makeshift oil warmer. Now, to create the, uh, the warming chamber for the uh, oil warmer, I'm going to use just a common household spoon that's been lying around the house for years, partially corroded. And what I'm going to do here is just bend the spoon like so and what we have there is a little cup that we're going to use to either warm resin incense or even small little drops of oil now what we're going to do here we got the candle right in the uh, in the jar what I'm going to do is just Put the spoon and keep it about two inches over the candle flame. Now you're going to have to kind of play with this to adjust it for your own purposes, but uh, yeah, I think roughly two inches should about do it. And then I'm going to light the candle flame. And then we're going to let that spoon kind of warm up a little bit. And because we're dealing with a metal spoon and not a glass uh, warming dish or a, a clay warming dish, uh, I'm not afraid to add my incense directly to the hot dish. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of uh, bits of resin incense, that is frankincense, and let's see... Kind of zoom in on that a little bit. See if that starts to smoke a little bit for us. I'm not smelling it yet, so maybe I have that up a little bit too high. Oop, that is hot. That is already hot. Hot to the touch right there. So, I think that should work at that height going to be a little more patient and I see it bubbling and I'm smelling it so there you go for just you know I don't know not even a dollar in materials uh, the only thing I bought for this was the uh, tea light candle the spoon is something we've had laying around the house corroding in an old drawer for like <laughs> 20 years or more and then the bottle is just an empty bottle that I was going to throw in the trash anyway. And with a little bit of imagination and creativity, you can put all this stuff together and create your own uh, either resin incense warming uh, uh, system or an oil warming system. And now, yes, I am smelling that resin incense. And the smell of frankincense is just doing pretty good now with this system uh, don't put a lot of uh, resin incense in the chamber uh, to start off with start off with just small amounts and then you can always add more later if you if you desire it and then another thing I would recommend that once this has once the candle has gone out or once you're done Blow out the candle, let that spoon cool, and then once it's it's uh, once you can handle the spoon without burning yourself, take a paper towel and 
wipe out that resin incense while it's still on the warm side. And uh, this should be a pretty cheap economical system that you can use to uh, warm your resin incense without buying charcoal and without even having to buy a, an expensive oil warmer from Walmart or Amazon or wherever you, uh, you might find one. So, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. This is Ralph signing out, and uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks for dropping by.